You, you don't like Indian guys? No. And what, what's, what's the reason for that? You guys are too clingy. <laughs> we're, we're too clingy? Yeah. Do you think we're a bit too nice sometimes? No. No? No. Do you think we smell of curry? Yes, they have a strong accent. They have a strong accent? Is it, do you find it quite sexy, that accent? Not really. <laughs> They're not your type? No. Are you, are you Indian? Um, yes. And you don't like Indian guys? <laughs> no. That doesn't make any sense at all. They're just not my type. Fatty little cunt, you prostitute, you whore, you bitch. I'm gonna fuck you, you bitch. I'm gonna fucking rape you. I'm not gonna even regret it. I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> Indian woman white man breeding parties. I am only gonna read some parts of this message. She says, I have been to one. They are simply called breeding parties. The breeding parties are for Indian women, usually very upscale and immerses in western circles, who want white babies but don't want a white husband, or at least don't want to divorce their Indian husband. The goal here is for Indian women to get pregnant by a white man, and that man has to be tall, blue-eyed, handsome, intelligent, usually a businessman who is in India for a time. Fucking brutal, they are literally importing white men for breeding parties. As an Indian guy, you need to realize and internalize this race bill concept. Women feel insulted when you approach them. If you are a dark Indian guy who has any other imperfection other than being Indian, women feel insulted and offended when you make a move on them. Let me read you this post from Reddit. It really shows how women feel like when you are approaching them straight from the horse's mouth. This is coming from a 37 year old female. She says, It seems like no matter how much dating I do, both online and in real life, it is always the same story. The guys I am attracted to are not attracted to me back, and the guys that are attracted to me are the guys I am not attracted to. I do get lots of messages online. The quantity of mes messages are not the problem. The problem is the quality. The other day I got a really well thought out message from a guy on OkCupid that was tailored to my profile description. I was ecstatic, but then I looked at his profile picture and saw it was an Indian guy. When this happened, I just broke down and started crying. Because the fact that he made an effort to write such a well thought out message means he thought he had a chance with me. And this made me feel like I am ugly. I don't know what to do anymore. I have blah blah blah. The rest goes on like, you know, she writes a fucking sob story. <laughs> See, this is how women feel when you make a move on them. As an ethnic sub eight man, that is. I don't know how many times I have to talk about race pill in this channel, but I still get messages from people asking me to rate them. Like, they say, hey, I'm an Indian guy, can you give me a rating? And I am like, the fuck you mean rate me? You said you are Indian, right? Say no more. Say no fucking more, bro. Like, I don't want to say it is over, but it is over. If you ever find yourself in insult circles asking people to rate you, then you know what the deal is. A lot of Indian men are just not ready to take the black pill. Like, they still have that hope. In episode 05, I have shown you that Indian PUA, but he's not the only one. Internet is literally filled, YouTube is filled with these kind of cringy Indian PUAs. These men are clinging on hope so hard, like, they are resisting the black pill, even when it is right in front of them. Like so many Indian POAs YouTubers doing these kind of cringy interviews and life ap approaches, and they still can't realize they are being rejected. Thank you, come again.